Hi, I'm designer Jen Gallagher with Echo Park Paper, and this is a latest and greatest video hosted by the Scrapbook Expo. Today, I get to share with you a brand new collection from Echo Park called Spring. Now, if you've watched the other videos, perhaps you've seen the video that's called Easter. These two collections are meant to coordinate with one another. So the colors and patterns and some of the images are meant to mix and match, meaning you can stretch and create a lot more things than just with this particular collection. But today I'm going to focus on what's inside this particular spring collection. So let's get started. Now the papers are very charming and beautiful. They're a mix between both whimsy and as well as sophistication. So if you are documenting a child's day or even your own, it works for both. Let's start with the pattern papers. Now there are six different papers that come in this collection, but you get two of each. So you have plenty of papers to craft with. It's best to show you the journaling cards because I think it gives you the best feel for the collection itself. Now this is a combination journaling card sheet. There are four by six cards as well as three by four cards. There's a beautiful cursive font that runs throughout. And this particular print up here on the umbrella is one of my favorite prints. In fact, it ended up being the cover for our catalog at the latest trade show. We loved it so much. There are butterflies and bikes and trees and bouquets of flowers, perfect elements for spring. We know that spring has rain and lots of different things, but this is a beautiful one. There are different elements and patterns in this, including a stripe. You'll notice there is a wood grain that runs through this particular stripe. And this is the pattern that is probably our most favorite. Beautiful floral that's layered with some dots splattered on the inside. There are also texts, all different kinds of spring phrases. If you read it, they're lots of fun. A diagonal stripe, a beautiful lime green, umbrellas, this one would be a fun one. If you like hand stitching on your layouts, this has crisscrosses and different etching that you could do, and it would be fun to hand stitch on this one. A floral, a gingham. These butterflies have both solid butterflies as well as pattern butterflies. And if you love fussy cutting, this is a great paper for fussy cutting. And a yellow dot on the other side. So again, you get two of each of all of these patterns in the collection kit, so be sure to get the kit. Now the sticker sheet has a range of both elements as well as phrases, so you have everything you need to do a scrapbooking page or to create a card. And there are titles as well as smaller phrases that can support whatever you're creating. In addition to the collection kit, we have some fun items that are made to coordinate with it. We have an ephemera pack. It does include 33 different pieces. Let me pull these off. On the back of the ephemera packaging, anytime you see it, whether on our website or in a store, you can see all of the different images. Now this is inspired by the collection and some of the images may be repeated, but they're presented differently. Now as a scrapbooker myself, I love the option of layering. So I love having both the ephemera pack as well as the sticker pack because then I can create lots of different, different layers as well as have the same image and use it in a unique way. Let me show you some of the different things that come in this collection. There are little banner pieces. There are additional phrases and tags. And there are some larger pieces like this charming phrase. There are also frames and lots of different things. Again, there are 33 different elements, so you'll want to check all of them out on our website. But they're made to coordinate both with the spring collection as well as the Easter collection. If you are a die cutter, you'll want to check out our designer dies. Now these are wafer thin dies and they do require the use of a manual die cut machine. There are several that come with this particular collection. This one is called Butterfly Love and we try to throw in a couple of extra things. While it could have just been a butterfly, we wanted to add a little playful heart so you can do some layering. Now the packaging comes with some ideas and concepts of how you can layer and cut. For instance, you could cut this butterfly from pink paper and the heart from red paper. But inside the folded piece is what the die actually looks like. Now some of the dies are layered like this and you could leave it like this, but you may need snips, metal snips, to separate the two dies. That will most often happen when the die is nested within another. But each die is unique and different. But the packaging again gives you a concept of how the die will look when you've completed it. In addition to that die, we have a sun and we have this tulip bloom, which gives you all the pieces to create this layered tulip as well as the title, and they can be used separately. Let me show you again what it looks like. 
Now this particular one is layered all together and you would want snips to separate it in order to cut the die. Again, you'll need a manual die cut to cut with these, but these are perfect for card making and scrapbooking and add a layer of dimension to any of your projects. In addition to die cutting, we offer stencils and this is just one of the stencils that comes in the collection. This happens to be the umbrella stencil. I want you to visit our website so you can see all of the different elements that coordinate with the spring collection and you can find those at coparpaper.com. Thank you for joining me for today's latest and greatest video hosted by the Scrapbook Expo.